the greatest thing out on the field for all of us is to walk with the greatness of the love of God. And you just have to keep reading 1 Corinthians 13 do you finally believe it. Love gets to the place where it thinketh no evil. Love is forgiving. And if you're really forgiving, then you never bring it up again. Otherwise, you really haven't forgiven. If it keeps coming up and you keep bringing it up, you didn't forgive. In 1 Corinthians 16, where the word of God closes out the entire epistle to the Corinthians. Walter taught it so beautifully. It closes out with verse 22. If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathem, not Mariantham, which means lose his rewards. Again, it's always on the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Love is always the true test. Loyalty is the true acceptable service. Prove what is that good and acceptable service. In 2 Samuel, chapter 23. working this chapter again because quite a few of the great men who accomplished at one time great things in their life are not numbered. Their names are mentioned but they are not numbered. among the greats because someplace along the line they discontinued walking in love it's not skillfulness of the hand if you read that 23rd chapter of Samuel or the wisdom of the head that constitutes true service. But loyalty in love. It's in this 23rd chapter that at a particular time when the Philistines held the city of Bethlehem which David so loved and desired to have and should belong to him verse 15 David longed and said oh that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem which is by the gate and the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he, David, would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that 
went in jeopardy of their lives. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. And that is love. It is also skillfulness of head. Skillfulness of hand, wisdom of head. But that's love. That's why their names are numbered. I just mentioned they're numbered in the scriptures here. In Jeremiah, chapter 9, Twenty-three. Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty glory in his might, let not the rich glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, the Lord Jehovah, that I am Jehovah, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, saith the Lord. There you again have the will of God. Basically, again, it's love. So no matter how much work you accomplish, the key is that it's done in love. And only the individual will know. You know your own heart. You and the Lord, the only ones that know it. Nobody else knows your heart like you know it. In that record in Samuel, you know, Joab is mentioned three times, but his name is not numbered. because he copped out on the love part. One of the high priests was the same way. Sometimes I think we can get bogged down with so many things and we sort of spin our wheels and get irritated. <laughs> and walk outside of love. Then it wouldn't profit us anything. And it's sometimes easy to say you're walking in love with your mouth, but in your heart and in your actions you're not but you as an individual will always know and you have to take care of your own life and walk before God I don't think it's because we're so almighty smart here at International that the ministry has basically been blessed and moved. I think it's because of the greatness of the love we have for the Lord Jesus Christ and God's people that has motivated you and others to move the word. I really don't know what to do for people more than we do for our core people in training. Then after that, that's just the beginning when you go out on the field and your gift and your own God-given abilities have to be developed so your gift makes room for you. And you constantly have to keep growing and you will if you walk in love. 